basically, as far as modelling or lending my image or name <coughs> to anything goes, I will only do it if it's the kind of thing that I actually would do for free. I don't do it for free, of course. Would you say you're respected in your field? Listen, we all have haters, we all have people that are jealous, but because you do so many different things, in the music industry, when you go to radio, they say, oh, you're a sellout. You were a skateboarder, and now all of a sudden, you're, you're working with massive brands. You've got your fashion label. I'm probably more respected outside of my field than in my field, probably, depending on which field you're talking about. In the skateboarding field, I think, you know, I'm certainly one of the young ones in that I don't think it's sacrilege to work with a fashion brand if you have some say on the on the creative you know i did a i remember doing a but then things change you know i remember doing a burberry trench campaign and people were hitting the roof about it saying oh my god not that he's a sellout just saying oh look at this guy he's such a poser and then just a couple of years later people would and that was my best friend he is still one of my best, best friends shooting that. And there's the Burberry Trench campaign. I love it. You know, that's the kind of job that I would do yeah. for free. That's basically as far as modelling or lending my image or name <coughs> to anything goes, I will only do it if it's the kind of thing that I actually would do for free. I don't do it for free, of course. Yeah. <laughs> this is... You know, I've got kids <laughs> like you. We've but, got bills to pay. But that's basically my, my process for sieving through what's worth doing and what's not. I basically will do the kind of jobs that I would do even if there wasn't any money. And sometimes even the kind of jobs that I would actually pay or, or go out of my way in some way to do because they excite me. Just a couple of years later, I see skaters, younger skaters, who aren't sponsored skaters, who haven't gone about things in the traditional way, in the way that I have, I mean, putting out parts and skating for a company and having a shoe and that sort of thing. And those same people who crucified me for doing something which, to me, is pretty respectable. Yeah. Will just not bat an eyelid. It's funny, things just change. And I'm... It's not my generation, because that's one of the great things about skateboarding, is that there are young skateboarders, there are old skateboarders. It's not really divided into age ranges like that so it's not my generation it's just that at the time that I was coming up it was more of a time of transition and people had yet to accept that this was a good thing that a young skateboarder could get paid x amount anything at all to do something outside of skateboarding could walk in a fashion show could be in a fashion campaign you know people hadn't become accustomed to that idea yet yeah Who if I had come around just a little bit later I could have done terrible, terrible, terrible jobs and not only dodged being crucified for them, but actually been celebrated for them. You've got to be true to yourself. Rough with the smooth. That's what you've got to take. <laughs>